This week we're looking at reefing parachutes to stop them opening too quickly at higher speeds. In the first experiment, we run the reefing ring all the way up to the canopy, and then we fold the parachute lines into the canopy. The reefing ring's just made out of a keyring. We've mounted the camera on a little platform attached to a V so that we can track the parachute as it gets ejected. Three, two, one, go! And this is how it looks on board. You can see the parachute balloon out first and then slowly open. Three, two, one, go! On the second launch, we see a very similar result. We flew this configuration a total of three times. You can see that the reefing ring only came down about halfway down the lines and once the rocket lands the ring slides down all the way. In the second experiment we twist up the shroud lines. Fold those into the parachute. We put five twists in the parachute lines. Three, two, one, go! Here you can see the early part of the parachute unfolding. The parachute opens faster than with the reefing ring. The shroud lines also separate all the way down to the shock cord. and the shock cord then slides off the fin. The shock cord is black and the shroud lines are yellow to make them easy to distinguish. Three, two, one, go! Run, run. 
On the sixth flight of the day, we just packed the parachute as normal, and you can see how much faster it opens, and you can also hear the distinctive pop.